There's an ongoing discussion among Sam Cedar and Emma Vigeland from the Majority Report and Anna Kasparian from the Young Turks regarding how crime statistics are reported. They're exploring the differences between local and national crime data, and it seems they have differing opinions on the matter. Sam Cedar touched on this topic during his show, and today we'll check out some clips of his discussion. I'll share my thoughts as we go along. So let's dive in. Uh, hi, Sam and Matt. Uh, this is Stephen in Dublin, Ireland. Stephen in Dublin, Ireland. What's happening, Stephen? Uh, so I listen to uh, and watch quite a lot of um, uh, politics in, in America. I've listened to your show for, for years. did listen to TYT um, and watch TYT uh, for a long time. Unfortunately, with the issues with Anna, in particularly talking about um, trans issues, just kind of turned me off it. And recently, um, I also listened to and watched Breaking Points um, with Crystal and Sagar. Uh, so, unfortunately, the other day, so there was a you know they were speaking about the the Haitian migrants um, story that was made up, and Sagar was just extremely um, racist as usual, um, and even brought in Irish people into it and and said about Irish people. Uh, causing prohibition, you know, when we came into America. And that was the reason why the drunk Irish had to, uh, you know, you had to ban uh, the alcohol to stop us. What? Uh, now, I, I <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I have no doubt that I, in I some circles that, that was used as an excuse. Of course. And we, you know, that is something that kind of still people say about, about the Irish. But I think we would use it as a, a good example of, you know, even though we're white, we were treated particularly right. badly, similar to the Italians, you know, um, in New York. Um, and uh, look, I, I find that part funny, but also he has kind of been bringing up trans uh, issues and, and being kind of transphobic. And I really love Crystal. And so I suppose the question that I have for you, I don't want to stop, you know, listening to different news sources just because somebody has a different opinion. I do like the idea of their show that it's uh, somebody that's more on the left and someone more on the right, but they're basically apolitical. What is your opinion on kind of that style of show? And do you think, do you think it works? Do you think it helps people uh, kind of understand left issues more? I mean, I, you know, I'm not going to pretend like I watch either of the shows that you've mentioned on a regular basis. I just, I just don't, I don't watch, I, I just, I don't watch other people's shows really for the most part. Um, I, I just end up, I read more often than not. I'll see clips. Um, I, I mean, I think there are definitely, you know, uh, uh, times where I have found very helpful things from, from Crystal. Uh, to be honest with you, I, not so much the Young Turks, but to be honest, I mean, just being honest here and, and I have to say that, you know, I, um, I have not followed, uh, that much of the Young Turks, but I have seen clips where, you know, uh, Anna has talked about, um, you know, the, the fact that everybody's calling her a birthing person or something to that effect. Uh, which I find extremely hard to believe that there's uh, been more than one person that's ever said that to her. Uh, but whatever, be that as it may, I don't care if it's 10. Who cares? Grow up. Uh, we just see, you know, stuff like um, uh, uh, they've also been harping about how crime statistics are out of control. The fact of the matter is that in 2023, crime is down in this country. Uh, with uh, something like 90% of, uh, of police uh, departments in the country now reporting. They like to pretend that uh, less than that have been reporting. Here's, they put up this Crowder, uh, that dude. He put up something. And the fact of the matter is, is that the, um, the most recent uh, crime statistics, you've got me a little bit off topic, but this uh, set me up because I'm not, you know, look, I'm not a media critic. But I am a critic of, of, of BS that is being pushed uh, by people. Before so before into the details, I just want to say I've been watching the majority report with Sam Cedar for years, and I also enjoy the Young Turks with Anna Kasparian and Senk Uyghur. 
I like both shows, even though there's often a Coke versus Pepsi vibe where people feel they have to choose one side. Some folks love the Majority Report and dislike TYT or the other way around. Personally, I'm a fan of both, but I don't always agree with everything they say. Right now, there's a disagreement going on between Anna Kasparian and the team at the Majority Report. Anna argues that while crime stats at the national level show that crime is down overall, local crime stats shouldn't be ignored. She feels that some people on the left, including Sam Cedar and Emma Vigeland, are downplaying local crime by only focusing on national numbers. Anna believes this approach is misleading and hints at a broader anti-police attitude. On the flip side, Sam seems to think that the national crime stats are the most important. It's not entirely clear what specific agenda Anna is talking about, and the exact points of disagreement between her and Sam aren't fully explained here. Overall, it seems like Sam is saying local crime stats might not matter as much in the bigger picture, while Anna is pushing for their importance. Um, put up that uh, murder dropped in this country from 2022 to 2023. Violent crime was down about 3%, although it was up for hate crimes for LGBTQ people. And here it is. Overall, and this is coming from NBC News, overall, the FBI's National Incident-Based Reporting System collected information. Because here, put up that uh, tweet. Do we have that tweet from uh, Crowder's uh, producer? I'm not sure which... Uh, oh, I'm not I had sure it in the, uh, in the Slack. Okay, I'll look. Uh, from Ger Gerald, or whatever that guy's name is. Okay. I mean, I'm only bringing this up, uh, you know, and like I say, I'm not a media critic. I don't, you know, I don't know. I haven't watched enough of, of Sauger and Crystal's show to know. I've seen clips that I've found very helpful from Crystal. And the clips, frankly, I've seen from TYT. I don't, I'm not going to pretend like I've watched that show on a regular basis either. But I do know that the complaints about crime over there, I mean, it's like uh, local news. They'll take one, uh, 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 you know, uh, crime and then hype it and make some type of like uh, data around it. But here, this is what uh, Gerald uh, uh, wrote. This is the uh, this is Crowder's producer, uh, which granted did not participate. What is he responding to? I think is like um, somebody said, like, where are the statistics that say that uh, crime isn't down? Because he had made that claim. This this map. 6,000 agencies submitted no 2022 data, 32% of all police agencies. He's complaining because he's saying that the 2022 statistics are wrong because only 70 or 68% of the police department submitted uh, information. Well, now, and of course, he has to point to 2022 because he doesn't want you to see that in 2023, we now have 94.3% of the country. reporting in agencies that cover 94.3 of the country 700 additional agencies in 2023 compared to 2022 on that national incident based reporting system and the fact of the matter is is that crime is down in fact the only crime that is up speaking about um speaking about misinformation the only crime that is up is shoplifting recorded events of shoplifting were up from about a million in 2022 to 1.15 in 2023 the interesting thing about that rise it now brings us to 2019 levels in other words all the time that we heard that shoplifting was going crazy the smash and grabs and this net shoplifting was actually down in 2021 and 2022 and in 2020 because of covid mm. and it's up now to where it was pre-covid well because the shoplifters are just hearing about the george floyd effect where it, it's worn out on other types of crime they were future predicting the george floyd <laughs> effect but um so i guess steve I gave you a really unsatisfying answer i don't know whether <laughs> you should continue to watch that show um you know, if there's value in watching it, despite uh, Sager's um, uh, transphobia. But I can tell you that the transphobia that, and you know, if you tell me he spouses it, I believe you. It's not hard for me to imagine. 
Uh, but that I've seen come from places like TYT or, you know, Crowder, whomever it is. And the crime hysteria, it's sort of fascinating. The crime is actually down, except for the hate crimes against uh, folks in the trans community because of this type of rhetoric. This is a topic Sam Cedar has discussed on his show for a while. He points out that while there was a spike in crime during COVID, Overall crime rates in the U.S. have been lower for many years, especially compared to the early 90s. I'm not exactly sure what Anna Kasparian from the Young Turks is suggesting about the left having an agenda regarding crime stats. Sam mentioned that local news often focuses on sensational stories that can scare people, like the idea that a certain group is out to get you. Sam emphasizes that, nationwide, crime is down. While it's possible for local crime rates to be up, right-wing politicians often use fear-based rhetoric, especially during elections. We're seeing this in the current presidential campaign with figures like Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, who paint a picture of the U.S. as a crime-ridden wasteland. This kind of narrative, often pushed by outlets like Fox News, mainly targets older audiences and doesn't reflect the reality of crime statistics in the country. So where do you stand on this? Do you agree with Sam Cedar that while there can be localized crime issues, the overall crime rate is declining and not as, di as dire as some media outlets and politicians make it seem? Or do you side with Anna Kasparian and the Young Turks, believing that the crime situation is worse than reported and that there's some misrepresentation happening with the statistics? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. I enjoy reading your feedback and it really helps my channel grow. Your likes, comments, and subscriptions make a big difference. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I'll see you in the next video.